Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at an incredibly cheap NVMe SSD, the Patriot P300. At the time of making this video, the P300 is around $20 or €20 Euros on Amazon for the 256GB version and around €30 for the 512GB. This makes it one of the cheapest NVMe drives available right now. The drive I'm testing here is the 256GB version, but it's available in a range of capacities from 128GB all the way up to 2TB. According to the official spec sheet, this 256GB drive has a maximum read speed of up to 1700MB per second and a maximum write speed of 1100. But in my tests, the drive performed way better than that. First, in Amorphous Disk Mark, the drive peaked at 2277 megabytes per second for read and 1785 megabytes per second for write. And in Black Magic Disk Speed Test, the write speed averaged around 1680 megabytes per second and the read performance was around 2030. So the peak performance is well above Patriot's own figures. But this drive, like most other NVMe drives in this price range, has a fairly small SLC write cache. And once that's filled up, the write speed drops significantly. In AJ System Test, after around 24GB of data had been written, the write speed dropped all the way down to around 200MB per second. So this is definitely something to bear in mind if you regularly transfer very big files more than 24GB in size. Once that cache is filled, it takes around 30 seconds of idle time for the cache to be emptied and the speed to return to the maximum. As for endurance, the 256GB drive has a warranted endurance rating of 120TBW or 5 years, whichever comes first. With the 512GB drive at 240TBW and the 1TB drive at 480 These endurance figures are fairly standard compared to other drives in a similar price range. This drive also has very low power consumption at just 2 watts under full load or 0.37 watts when idle. This compares to the Samsung 980 for example which can pull up to 4.3 watts or the WD Blue SN570 which pulls 3.5 watts. This can make a significant difference to your battery life if you're using it in a notebook. Overall then for the price it's very hard to fault the P300. It does have a fairly small SLC write cache, but this makes little difference in average daily use. For an OS drive in a budget build, or to replace an older SATA SSD or mechanical hard drive, the P300 offers phenomenal value for money. If you're thinking of picking one up, there'll be a link down in the video description. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.